What's up, reefers? Uh, today I'm going to basically be starting the plumbing on my tank. I was supposed to do it last weekend, but it was Labor Day, so I didn't. Um, basically, what I have in front of you is the Neptune Core 20 and the Vectra M1. So I'm going to put both of these in my tank. Actually, both of these are going to be returns. I'm going to show you how I'm going to do it. Here we go. Okay, so I haven't even unboxed this yet. I just took the tape off of this thing. Um, I, I haven't opened it and legitimately it's been sitting in my, in my basement for, I don't know, four months or so. Uh, but anyways, so I'm gonna do a little unboxing here. Uh, as you can see, oh crap, it's falling out of it. Yep, so as you can see, this is the Vectra. M1. Side by side, you can really tell one is way smaller than the other. As a matter of fact, um, if I pick the both of them up, it's noticeable. I mean, even with the Union on there, I guess I guess the Union adds a little bit of weight, but the, the Vectra is a, a lot lighter than the Core. Not that that makes any difference really, but it is. Um, Anyways, there we go, there's side by side. Uh, these are the two pumps I'm putting in my tank. I'm not sure if any of you have actually worked with these pumps before. My old pump that I put into 93, I just flex lined it and that's it. Slip fitting, flex lined it, no big deal. Uh, this is a little different. Uh, the way we're gonna do this is, is a little tiny different uh, from pump to pump. Um, I'm actually gonna show this to you. Um, I'm gonna kind of keep the audio to a minimum here because uh, I'm gonna be measuring and cutting and everything else but i'm gonna keep the i'm gonna keep it rolling so uh you guys can see everything i also have my gopro going so hopefully what this camera doesn't catch the other one will uh but i hope you enjoy it uh we're gonna start with the vectra uh this is three quarter inch pvc schedule schedule 40. i, I a lot of people go with the schedule 80 now i, I to me it's easiest just to run up to home depot and get some <laughs> get some schedule 40 but uh, what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna go one foot on this. All right, so I'm just gonna make my one foot mark. This I'm not so concerned if it's uh, it's exact. It really doesn't bother me if it is or isn't. So then what I'm gonna do with that is now that I have my cut there, a cut mark, I'm gonna grab the absolute cheapest PVC cutters you can find and I know this because I've had to fix it twice and I have hardly even used it so here we go and it went flying sweet all right well I'll tell you for <laughs> really cheap PVC cutting it didn't do so bad. Okay, now that we have one foot of PVC cut, my six-year-old daughter, Kira. Um, it's gonna help, I'm gonna be daddy's assistant. She's gonna be daddy's assistant. She's gonna show you exactly how easy it is to put this on. So, I'm gonna show her what you need to do. Okay, Kira, are you ready? Okay, this little piece right here goes into here. Okay, can you do that? Okay. Okay, so she's gonna put that piece onto the end of there. Okay. Push it, yeah, push it down real hard, hon. Real hard. I know, you know, if you wanna push it, hold it up like this and push down. Okay. All right, is it pretty tight in there? Yeah, it's like, yeah, I can't wait really at the Really tight? Okay. All right, so now what we're gonna do, Kira, are you ready? Okay, so put this on the top of it going this way. Okay, slip it down there, all the way down there. Okay, got it? Yeah. Okay, perfect. Now what we're gonna do is I want you to take this pump, okay? 
And then all you gotta do is screw it in. Screw this in, okay? Screw it in. Easier to do this way. Uh, Alright, let's see it. That is legitimately all you have to do to install this. That's all. That's it. That's it. All you have to do. I mean, um, you may want to tape, I guess, but this is going to be in your sump, anyways. Not too huge of a deal. Uh, but that is legitimately how you do the Vector M1. To me, that was super easy. Kira did it. Kira did it, she's six years old. I think anybody watching could do it if a six year old can do it. Okay, now that I have one cut, I'm gonna actually make another one foot cut to my three quarter inch PVC. Uh, and the reason for that is I'm gonna do the core 12, core 20, 12, 20, whatever. So basically, hopefully I'm not covering too much of the camera here. But what I'm gonna do here is just make a line at one foot like I did with the other one. So now, now I have a line that I can go with. Can I eat my apple now? Yeah, you can have your apple now. Important stuff. So, now again, I'm just gonna find that line, put it right in the middle, and I am going to Squeeze until it starts cutting. One thing about these cutters that I don't like is that they have a tendency to move around a lot when you're cutting. So you really have to be careful. All right, second one foot piece is cut. Gonna go ahead and sand that piece off really good. Make sure there's no burrs or anything else in there. To the other side. And then we have another one foot piece. Me, I'm gonna go ahead and do the exact same thing. Exact same thing. Just gonna put the on there. The only difference is I'm 36 and she's six, but I think we can both get it done. So, got that. Now it does come, the Core 20 did come with two rings. Uh, one is for the three-quarter inch, one is for the one inch, um, as you can see there. So we're going to use the three-quarter inch, obviously, and slip it on like that. And once we do that, we will go ahead and tighten it up. And that's it. Okay, that's both pumps ready to go. Basically all I did, uh, it does come with a, I think it's a one and a quarter or one and a half union. I'm using three quarter inch returns uh, and I know I could go up with it, but right now I'm just gonna use my three quarters and be done with it. Um, but yeah, they're ready to go. Both pumps are fully submersible, which is really nice for me because I don't have a lot of room around the tank to be running extra plumbing. So it's nice to be able to run all my plumbing in the tank without having an, an uh, external pump. Um, but yeah, there's, that's both the pumps ready to go and I'm gonna continue plumbing. This is my sump. Basically, this is the first time I'm actually opening it. Uh, this is this is actually just the higher model, the bigger model than what I had in my 93. I really like that sump. So, well, obviously. So I went with the same sump. It is simple, which I hate when people overdo their sumps. They need a baffle here and a baffle there. I mean, it it doesn't have to be like that. I don't, I don't understand why people do that. So I, I didn't. I went with simple. This is very simple. Two filter socks, a sponge filter, big huge place for my skimmer and enough room for two pumps now i don't technically need two pumps i have two really good pumps but this is going to allow me the opportunity to do this and i i really kind of want to the reason for that is i'm going to actually have one of those pumps 
powering a few of my reactors, um, namely my calcium reactor, which hasn't come in yet, but hopefully it will soon. I'm uh, gonna pop power my calcium reactor on its way to filling back up my, my tank. So what I'm gonna do with this, and I will bring you over here to show you. Basically how this is gonna work is one of these pumps is gonna go Okay. Basically how this is going to work is one of these pumps is going to go right about here. While the other one is going to go right about here. So I'll have to I'll have to maneuver them the way I want. I know it's a tight a tight squeeze, but this is all that's going in here. I'm not I don't have anything else going in here, uh, with the exception of I'm going to have my probes on the side, which okay whatever. But they do fit. They're they're t it's tight, but they do fit. So if this experiment fails, then one of them is obviously going to come out. But if the experiment goes well enough that um, I'm not putting in too much water than I'm taking out, which I hope isn't the case, uh, with three quarter inch returns and one quarter inch uh, drain, or I'm sorry, one inch drain, three quarter inch returns. I hope that's not the case, but at any rate, this is how it's gonna be. I wanted to show you exactly what I had planned here and hopefully this turns out well. Um, the plumbing on this is going to be started right now. Uh, as I said earlier in the video, I'm not going to be doing much talking during the plumbing. I'm just going to kind of do it. And I've found by other reefers and myself included, the best way to put all this together and find out the how you exactly want it is to do it, plumb, plumb the sump when it's dry and it's out and it's on a table. That way you have all the room to maneuver and you don't have to worry about cracking your head on the stand or anything like that. So, here it is.